The CSS positioning properties allow you to position an element, and it can also place an element behind another. Positioning values are static, fixed, relative, and absolute. To show what's possible with different positioning, I prepared an example content with an image, title, and example lorem ipsum text. Those widgets by default are static positioned. HTML elements are positioned static by default and are always positioned according to the normal flow of the page. Let's now create a fixed header with logo. A fixed positioned element is positioned relative to the browser window and it will not move even if the window is scrolled so you can create a sticky header, footer, or sidebar. Fixed elements can also overlap other elements. Create a new container and I'll change the color and add a sample SVG logo with a white color fill. A relative positioned element is positioned relative to its normal position. The content of relatively positioned elements can be moved and overlap other elements, but the reserved space for the element is still preserved in the normal flow. Relatively positioned elements are often used as container blocks for absolute positioned elements. Now I'll create a new container and drag it above the image widget. Drag an image into the new container to show how absolute element works and depends on the relative container and I'll rename the container to relative container. Now by default it's static positioned. Create a text widget and format it with some sample formatting to see the difference between static and relative positioning. Now after formatting, if I change the text widget positioning in the properties in the advanced section to absolute, you can see now that the width is uncertain. Now I can change the top, right, bottom, and left values in the position tab. I'll change the top value to zero, and you can see that the container jumps to the top of the window, not to the container. An absolute positioned element is positioned relative to the first 
parent element that has a position other than static. Absolute positioned elements can overlap other elements. Now let's change our relative container, which is static by default right now, to relative positioned. And as you can see, it's now aligned to our container. Go to the position tab and change right to zero. It'll align to the right side of the container. You can enter minus values and it will overlap other elements as well. Set left to minus 20 pixels and it's going outside of the container. You can play with those values and can see that it's really easy if you understand how to work with positioning. No change to preview mode and our absolute element is where we wanted it. But if we scroll down, we have a problem. Our fixed element is under our relative container. When elements are positioned outside the normal flow, they can overlap other elements. The Z index property specifies the stack order of an element, which element should be placed in front of or behind the others. An element can have a positive or negative stack order. Go back to the editor and select Fixed Header. Go to the Properties tab and under the Advanced section is the Z Index Input field. I'll change it to 99 and then it's over the content. 